Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana from Intellect Digest and in this video I'm going to give you a detailed camera review of the Samsung Galaxy S4. This is one of the mightiest phones and with a lot of features in terms of camera performance. The main camera on the Samsung Galaxy S4 is a 13 megapixel autofocus with flash camera and the pictures come out to be really good in outdoors and indoors also it shoots fairly good. Let me quickly give you a tour of what all options or the camera modes that you have the basic one is the auto mode which is on by default which adjusts the focus and the composition as per the subject that you have which makes it work almost like a digital camera next you have a beauty face in which it takes the pictures with kind of beautification on the face we have seen such technologies being used when there are multiple faces in the picture there is a best photo mode which takes a bust of five to six images and checks out the best one from them and saves them and rejects the other pictures. There is a best face mode which can be for a group of people who can click a picture together. So if one person is not smiling and the other one is smiling it will combine the two different shots from the same frame so that all the person in the picture have their best smiles. The sound and shot mode is also very interesting in which you can record your sound while taking a still picture so I'll just quickly give you a demo this is a Samsung Galaxy grand picture demo so I just click the picture which has some sound in it now whenever I this open this is a Samsung Galaxy grand picture demo so as you can see whenever I open this still it will also play the sound Samsung Galaxy grand you can share such sound and shots with your friends via email bluetooth etc Talking a little bit more about the camera modes, we have the drama mode in which you can take a burst of multiple pictures and then combine them in the same frame. The idea is to keep the background same and click multiple photos. To use this mode you just you have turned to the drama mode and it will confirm by showing the drama on the top and you can take some pictures. I'll show you some of the outdoor pictures which I have taken with the drama mode. So this is one example of the drama mode which has been clicked using the Samsung Galaxy S4 camera and as you can see if there is a person in motion and you can click multiple shots using the drama mode it will stitch all those shots in one frame and make a motion image of the same. Next up after the drama mode we have an animated shot which shows you the moving objects in the picture so you can click a picture it will capture certain frames and then make an animation file using the same pictures taken in that burst. The next is rich tone or HDR which is high dynamic range pictures in which you can click pictures and it will take slightly longer time but it will capture much more depth in the image. Let me quickly demonstrate the rich tone or HDR mode for you. So it takes a few seconds to process and once it is processed the colors come out to be very vibrant. Going back to the camera, we have some more modes after the rich tone, there is an eraser mode. In the eraser mode, it takes multiple pictures of the same frame and removes certain elements from the frame which you don't want. Say you are standing in front of a monument taking pictures on some tourist location and people just photobomb you. So you can remove them from your photo using this multiple burst shot eraser mode. After the eraser mode you have panorama which is quite common in these days even all the phones so you can stitch multiple images side by side to create a panorama shot. In the sports mode it takes the picture of fast moving objects and reduces the blur because of the motion. The night mode enables high sensitivity in the picture and it is recommended to use it with flash if you are clicking a near object. This is all on the modes that we have apart from this I'll quickly show you the camera settings as well what all you can control. So you can control the sharing so whenever you click a picture it can be automatically shared on the messengers or the share shot feature in which you can share the pictures directly with other people on Samsung Galaxy devices. You can change the recording modes to slow motion, fast motion etc for the recording feature or the camera recording feature you can also take pictures by saying words like cheese or there are some command shots which can be turned on so if i turn it on and i can take picture just by saying a word like cheese cheese so it takes the voice command and clicks picture for you it is very interesting feature 
when it comes to camera. Let me put it back in the auto mode and then we'll explore a few more settings. So you have the voice activated shutter command. You can turn on the portrait mode or the night detection mode in which it will check the ambient light and adjust the camera settings accordingly. You can also turn on or off the flash. You can put it in the auto mode. The small A appears when it is in automatic mode. Going further down in the settings, you can change the photo size or the resolution at which it is clicked. You can turn on or off the bus shot in which it will take multiple shots if you keep pressing the shutter button. It has face detection option which can be turned on and it will try to focus on the faces so that the pictures come out to be good. In metering, you can control center weight, metrics or spot metering. So it is more of a professional camera functions that you get on the Samsung Galaxy S4. The video size can also be selected from a full high definition 1920 by 1080p widescreen to down to 320 by 240 pixel for small devices or MMS. You can check further options like turning the GPS or the geotagging on your pictures on and off. You can put on the review on so that when you click a picture it does not go away and remains on the screen for a few seconds so that you can see if the picture has come out to be good. You can use the zoom functionality using the volume keys. So the volume key doubles up at the zoom function. You can turn the camera on, you can set the white balance, you can change the exposure compensation values. You can put on the grid lines, flash, voice command, contextual framing etc. So there are many features that come in this camera and you can take some very good pictures and we have tested the camera and pictures have come out to be really good. I'll just quickly show you some of the samples that we have clicked with the Samsung Galaxy S4 camera. These are the drama shots that we clicked with multiple images of the same person in different burst mode. I'll also quickly show you some pictures from the back to back burst mode in which we could capture some very good moments. So these are the burst mode images which have been captured and as you can see this trail of water being captured very nicely with the burst mode or the multiple image shot mode of the Samsung Galaxy S4. The color tones and the color levels on the screen come out to be really good and realistic. As you can see, the reproduction of colors as well as the detailing in the pictures is fairly good. Both front and rear camera of the Samsung Galaxy S4 are capable of recording high definition videos. If you want to see a detailed review of the Samsung Galaxy S4, please check out the link in the description below. We are putting a link on the top left of your screen for detailed review of the Samsung Galaxy S4. If you like our video, please press the like button below for more tips and tricks on Samsung Galaxy S4. Please subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe button below. This is Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.